3D printing and cosplay go together like Canada and maple syrup, or Canada and politeness, or Canada and Putin. You know, come to think of it, Canada goes with pretty much anything you think is awesome. Some of the most impressive prints I've ever seen have been like near screen replications of stuff that's from TV and movies, and they're always so super impressive. And while I've done a few cosplay style items, I've never done a full cosplay outfit, <laughs> and that's not going to change today. But I did have a chance to work with somebody who does do that, and uh, it was really exciting. So late in the year last year, my buddy Sholm over at Askewed View 3D contacted me because he wanted to know if I was interested in doing a collaboration. So he uh, does a lot of awesome 3D models. He and his sons work together and they do uh, all sorts of recreations for movies and TV shows. And if you haven't had a chance to check them out, I really recommend you do. So he was working with Toxic Fox, also known as Brit, and she's an avid cosplayer. And the two of them were working together to do a Red Sonia cosplay. Now where I come in is, while well, she doesn't have access to a 3D printer, and Shulman and his family live in the States, and I live in Canada. So he was wondering if they did the modeling for the cosplay, if I would be willing to print it and then ship them off to Brit, which of course was no problem for me. So he got to work and he came up with an awesome looking axe and shield for that Red Sonia cosplay. So I got to printing and <laughs> printing was just the beginning of the journey. So I was able to print all the pieces for the axe on one single print. Everything fit onto the bed and I printed them on a rough so that there was less risk of them falling over and ruining the whole print. For the shield, we scaled it up and I opted to print two pieces at a time because this thing was going to take like 3.4 kilograms of material and I didn't want to try and print the entire thing as one shot only to have it fail halfway through and lose all that filament. So the axe is split into 11 separate parts and they're designed to lock together kind of like a 3D puzzle. And all the pieces printed off and fit together really nice and this thing is like close to 6 feet long once it's printed. It's massive. As you can see it just hangs off my coffee table. Then there's the shield which is absolutely amazing. It prints as six parts and it is huge. It turned out fantastic. The prints are really really clean. Uh, the only issue I ran into is the two parts that I printed in black PLA unfortunately didn't want to go together so there's maybe some sanding work to be done by Toxic Fox when she gets them to be able to get those together but it shouldn't take her too long at all. All together between the shield and the axe we were looking at about seven days worth of printing. It was about a day to a day and a half for all the parts for the shield and there's three sets of them and then as I said I printed the axe in one piece and it was like a day and a half or two days and uh, I was really impressed with all the detail that went into these models. So then after some trials and tribulations including having to reprint a part after it was damaged in shipping and then returned to me it was time to finally get it to her. And that's when I realized my wife and I were actually going to London for a wedding and Toxic Fox is actually from London so I said hey instead of shipping and risking damage this time why don't I hand deliver it to you and she was okay with it so we figured why not kill two birds with one stone. So I put all the parts into a plastic box and I also dug out a one-to-one -one print of Milner from Thor that Britt said she might be interested in turning into a cosplay. The other thing I tossed in was this adorable cute unicorn that was designed over by Chelsea at Chaos Cortec. And it was printed in the Everyone Silk PLA and it turned out pretty nice except for the fact that he lost his horn somewhere during the print. So I tossed all the parts into the back of the car and we were off to the races. So Sunday morning when we were getting ready to leave town our last stop before heading out was to go see Britain drop this stuff off. And it turns out she's just as nice in real life as she is in her videos. Just a genuinely nice person and it was great to be able to meet a uh, fellow maker from Canada. Well, just as we were about to say goodbye, I realized that I had left Mew Mew in the car and uh, luckily she had followed me over so it wasn't a big deal for me to get it to her. You want to help me with this? So the challenges with this build were mostly related to scaling. It's really hard to gauge how somebody's height translates to the height of a character and you want to make sure that the, you know, the ratios end up being the same, but it looks like we got it pretty much perfect right off the bat. When we held the shield together, it looked pretty much the same size ratio as it is with Red Sonia from the cover that Brit had sent me to give as a demonstration. So that's it. Red Sonia is going to happen. Toxic Fox now has all the 3D printed parts she needs to make it happen. And 
I think it's going to turn out fantastic. If you've seen any of her work before, you know she does a great job. And if you haven't, you should go check out her YouTube channel and subscribe to it so you can keep an eye on how this Red Sonia cosplay comes together. I think it's going to be fantastic. I want to thank Shom for setting this up. Um, Shom runs a Skewed View 3D with his sons, and last year they took on the challenge to do three new models every week for the entire year. And their first models turned out really nice, but you can even see the quality difference from the first ones to the last ones. And all the stuff they've been putting out is fantastic, so you should check him out. Uh, his YouTube channel will be linked below, as well as his Thingiverse page, and uh, you're definitely going to find something you're going to want to print. Well, thanks for sticking around till the end. I know my content's been a little bit unpredictable the past little bit. Um, I've been working on my makerspace, as you can see behind me. I went ahead and printed off some of uh, Joel's brackets and put some filament shelves up. So with the setup I've got now and the permanent lighting, which needs a little bit of work, uh, and the new camera, I'm thinking my content should be a lot easier to produce and uh, hopefully a lot better quality too. And by the way, if you liked this cosplay collaboration, I'm already in early talks to do another one. It's a similar idea, uh, except for I'm hoping to get some finishing techniques from the person that I'm working with. He wants to do something that I've wanted to do for a long time, so I'm going to do some 3D printing for him, and uh, hopefully we can figure out how we're going to get these finished and done for the channel. So stay tuned, that should be happening over the summer. Okay guys, well, thanks again for sticking around till the end of the video, and until next time, stay creative.